Hello, everyone. My name is Satoshi Iro. I'm a technical marketing associate at Alpaca. Thank you for your continued support and your request. We are thrilled to bring you this option tutorial and we'll keep producing more valuable content in the coming months. If there is a strategy or concept you'd like us to cover, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It'll help fellow algo traders discover our contents while supporting our channel. In this video, we'll demonstrate two advanced option strategies the long shadow and iron condor. With our latest IPI update, you can now execute this level 3 multi leg option strategy directly on our platform. Before we dive it in the specifics of this strategy, let's first set the stage by understanding their core principles and why traders use them. So, the long straddles involves buying a call and a put with the same strike price and expiration date. It's ideal for traders expecting significant price movement in either direction or high volatility in the near term. We can possibly see this strategy as a high-risk, non-neutral strategy with unbounded profit potential. Meanwhile, the iron condor involves selling and buying two sets of options, one long and one short call, and one long and one short put, all with the same expiration date. It's designed for traders expecting minimal price movement. Now, unlike the long straddle, iron condor may be seen as a risk-defined neutral strategy with limited profit potential. If you're more interested in exploring this strategy further, or understanding how indicators like Option Greeks, Implied Volatility, or RSI factor into multi leg option strategy, check out our educational resources at Alpaca Learn page. And also, for an overview of option trading with Alpaca, check out our previous video. We've included the link to the video along with other useful contents. Now, let's get into it and start deploying Level 3 Multi Leg Option Strategy with Alpaca's trading API. First thing first, we set the Alpaca trading API key and a secret key. If you still need help with getting access, we've included a guide in the description below. In this video, we demonstrated the option strategy in a paper trading environment, so it is crucial to predefine the parameters paper as true. And please do not change this variable, otherwise you may accidentally trade with real money. Then we import the package called Alpaca Pi. This code installed Alpaca Pi if it is not already installed in your working environment. And just a heads up, even if you still have installed Alpaca Pi, make sure to update the package to enable trading level three option strategies. And after we import Alpaca Pi, we then import the following some packages from the Alpaca Pi along with other necessary packages. Before importing them, ensure you have installed these packages if you have not already. After installing the packages, we set up the API client for trading. And then, let us see if the account is enabled for multi-leg option trading. Great, it seems like the account is ready and available for multi-leg option trading. Now let's move on to the long straddle strategy. For this example, we'll use Tesla stock as the underlying asset for our options trade. In the long straddle, we look for opportunities where significant price movement is likely, as this is necessary to generate returns. And one of the possible times to consider this strategy is around a company earnings announcements, as these periods often exhibit heightened volatility and price fluctuations. And earnings dates for Tesla typically fall around the middle of the third week of the months for months like October, January, April, or July. And in this example, the nearest earnings date is April 23rd, 2025th. And we'll use the conditional if statement in the code to identify and select this date. Next, we'll define a function called find nearest strike contract to find an option contract that minimizes the difference from a target price. And this function returns a main contract or the contract whose strike price is closest to the target price that we specify later. From here, we'll find appropriate call and input options for Tesla with the closest expiration date to the earnings date. 
Using our predefined function, we'll set the target price at a $413.82, which could serve as our entry point for the long straddle. The function will search for both put and call options that expire between the earnings date and four weeks after. And to further narrow the search, we'll define additional parameters like strike prices and use a predefined function to pinpoint the exact options. This code outputs the two option legs, one for the call and one for the put. After identify the unappropriate options, we're ready to place the order for both legs at the same time. This is crucial for executing a proper long straddle strategy. Voila! Here, the outputs will show the placed order based on either the order's client and ID or the first leg's client and ID. And there are many ways to search your orders from APIs. And you can also view these details and outputs directly on your Alpaca dashboard. Next, we cover the iron condor. First, we define an interval around the current price using the standard deviation of Tesla stock, which we define 5.02 in this demonstration. In real trading, this value should be based on the actual standard deviation, which can also be derived from a widely used indicator such as Bollinger Bands. So this helps us determine four key points, A, B, C, and D, where B and C are one half standard deviation away from the optimal price, and N and D are one full standard deviation beyond B and C respectively. So this interval will guide our strike price selection for the option contract. Next, we calculated the maximum delta between strike prices of the available option contracts. Using this delta, we refined the range of strike prices, which are mean contract price and the max contract price, to ensure all contracts align with the calculated interval A to D. And this ensures the contract we request fall within the defined range in a reduced unnecessary request. In the next coding chunk, we here create a request to fetch all Tesla option contracts within a specified strike price range between mean contract price and max contract price and expiration dates. The expiration dates are set between three to five weeks before the next earnings date. And just as what we did in the ordering the long straddle, the request filter the contract to meet specific criteria, such as being active, having an American style exercise, and matching the desired price range. Now, as we can see from the output, there's a list of option contract that matches what we defined in get option contract request function. Next, in this setup, we use a custom class called contract buffer to identify and select the most suitable option contract that align with our predefined target price, A, B, C, and D. Each contract buffer object represents a specific target price, and along with the metadata about whether it corresponds to a call or put option, and whether it is intended as a buy or sell leg. After setting up the class, we utilize it in the for loop, and this code loop through all option contract retrieved earlier. For each contract, it checks compatibility with the buffer by comparing whether the contract type call or put matches the buffer's is call attribute. If compatible, the code calculates the difference, which specified as diff, between the contract strike price and the buffer's target price. If the difference is smaller than the existing diff value, or if no contract has been assigned yet, the buffer updates to store this contract as the closest match. Great. Now we are able to narrow down the specific four option contracts to build the iron condo order. Finally, we create a multi-leg order for the iron condor using the selected option contract. The order includes 50 contracts for each leg with the limited order request function to ensure the trade is executed at the specific price, in this case, uh, zero for net zero cost. The order is submitted through the Alpaca API and its status can be tracked through the response. You can also find a submitted order in the recent order section on the Alpaca dashboard. We put the link to the dashboard down below. 
Now we move on to the final section, which covers how to query, replace, and cancel multi leg orders. First, we demonstrated two ways to query the status of an order using the client order ID of the entire multi leg order or using the client order ID of an individual leg. This flexibility allows us to track the status of the entire order or inspect the specific legs separately. As we can see, the output display the details results for both approaches. Next, we attempt to cancel or replace an individual leg of the multi-leg order. The code checks the status of the first legs and tries to cancel or replace it if it's not already filled. However, as we expected, the Alpaca API does not allow the cancellation or replacement of the individual legs in the multi-leg order. And errors are returned and we can see in the output as well. This highlights that a modification of multi-leg option orders must be performed on the entire order, not individual legs. If the overall multi-leg order is not filled, we can replace it by submitting a replace order request method. In this example, the quantity is updated to 55 for the replacement request. If the order is already filled, a message is displayed instead. In our case, the previous order was already accepted, so we did not replace the order. So this ensured that the changes are applied to the entire order while fulfilling the API constraints. If we want to cancel the multi-leg order, we call the cancel order by ID method using the order's unique identifier. This completely removes the order from the system if it has not already been filled. Canceling the entire order is the appropriate approach for multi-leg strategy, since as I said earlier, individual leg modifications are not permitted in Alpaca's API. Finally, to confirm the status of the order after cancellation or replacement, we query the order again using its client order ID. This step validates the action taken and ensures the order reflects the intended state, whether canceled, replaced, or filled. Now that you learned how to set up and execute multi-leg option strategy like the Long Straddle and Iron Condor, the next step is to put your knowledge into practice. We strongly recommend starting with the paper trading or backtesting your strategy to fine tune your parameters and evaluate its performance under various market conditions. This is a critical step to ensure you are fully prepared for live trading. If you're enjoying this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so you never miss future strategy guides using the Alpaca Trading API. You can also find more videos like this in a dedicated playlist, so be sure to check it out to further expand your knowledge. Lastly, please review the important disclosures in the description below. Before starting your trading journey, it's essential to fully understand the risk involved with both trading and algorithmic trading. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.